Hello everybody, it is I, Sir Badian. And today we are going to be starting a new series called New Player, New Game. What this is going to be about is this is going to be a total rundown of uh, basically a row of 4x C Sharp. Um, I'm going to be covering how to everything from how to install it all the way through to covering all of the various game elements. Now, it won't necessarily be a playthrough. It's not going to be a let's play, uh, but it will cover all of the basic elements um, that uh, you will find in the game. So let's begin. First up with the first thing you're going to be doing with Aurora, you're going to be installing it. Don't laugh. It's not that easy. So first things first, you're going to start off with the Aurora homepage. Um, the address is aurora2.pentark.org and you're going to find yourself here. Um, now, uh, creating an account is relatively easy because it's going to ask you a couple of questions. Um, and if you have any trouble uh, with creating a forum account, do hop onto the Discord. Uh, we do have the uh, board uh, command controller here to help you out. But you don't have to have an account to download the game. What you want to do is you want to come down here into C Sharp installation. And you are going to want to find two things. Uh, first of all, this forum thread here, the C Sharp full installation version 1.0 and the latest patch. So in this case, today, it is the version 1.11 patch. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download the one version 1.51 full installation. Uh, the second thing you're going to want to do is download the version 1.11 patch. Now, note this is the version 1.11.0, not 1.1.1. There are two different versions. Make sure you download the correct one. Um, if you're coming in later, just make sure that you download the latest version. So once you have the full install, you're going to extract that into a new folder. And the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your 1.11 uh, file. And what you want to do is, now this is important, these are the two game files you're going to want to replace. However, do not drag and drop them. Aurora is annoying. It does weird stuff if you do that. You want to make sure that you take the old files, delete them from your system entirely, and then extract them out, uh, extract the new ones into the game folder. And that is how you install Aurora. Now, the next thing you want to do is you're going to need to make a few changes to your system settings. They're not huge. They're not important. They're not going to make too much of a difference for you, most of them. Uh, but there are two settings that you're going to want to make a change to. First things first, if you go down here and right click on your clock, adjust date and time, uh, you are going to want to click on change here to change kind of settings. And you're going to want to change your long date format from the DDDD to just the D. So, we change from this one as a lot. This one is the default a lot. You're going to want to change it to this one. Uh, the other thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Numbers tab over here, and you're going to want to make sure that your decimal symbol is the full stop, and that your list separator is the comma. Uh, if you have it around the wrong, if you have it around the other way, as a lot of Americans do, you're going to run into, pro into problems. I have these already set correctly, uh, but you're going to want to make sure that you change these around. Um, now, this is the one that can come uh, be confusing because obviously you're going to have um, the separator be different, but you need to make sure that these are set. If this one is not set, uh, you're going to have errors, and if this one is not set, you're not going to be able to see. Uh, certain dates properly. So make sure you set these correctly and then you are good to go. Now, if you're updating like me, 
Uh, you are going to have uh, potentially some old stuff sitting around. Um, next thing you're going to want to know is you're going to want to know about uh, transferring saves and transferring files. AuroraDB.DB is basically everything. It is your save states. It is also a lot of your configurations. It is an SQLite database. Um, if you need to transfer saves, this is what you're transferring across. Fun thing about AuroraDB, it compresses really, 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 really well. You can sh It looks big and compressed, but it compresses down really, really well. So if you have to send it somewhere, you can usually get it down to less than a couple of meg. Um, now, flags... Medals, races, ship icons, and station icons. These are all basically used by the game for various visual effects. Now, you can remove them, and a lot of them are... Um, yeah, you can remove them, you can add them. When, you, when a race is generated, the game will basically take random race, uh, race uh, files, uh, medals... Uh, can be added into so for example you'll notice that uh, you won't get these mainly because well these ones are actually from a special metal pack that I got from someone and uh, these are the ones that I made myself so you can definitely make your own medals and add them in um, and then add them into the game which we will discuss once we get into actual gameplay so these are freely addable um, They've got a whole bunch of flags, some that uh, you might not want, but feel free to go in there and add and remove them as you like. That's how you add those. 